back now at 8.38. We moved inside with Hugh Jackman to talk more about his leading role as Jean Valjean in the new adaptation of Les Miserables. Take a look. How can I ever face my fellow man? How can I ever face myself again? My soul belongs to God, I know. I made that bargain long ago. He gave me hope when hope was gone. He gave me strength to journey on. Who am I? Who am I? Uh, Hugh Jackman, welcome back. You know what they say, lead with flattery. Okay, so let me start with it. Tom Hooper, you were just standing next yeah. to the Academy Award winning director of this. He said, if Hugh Jackman didn't exist, I don't think I would have done this film. I wish you'd told me that earlier. <laughs> Could have negotiated After a slightly three better deal. Audition? No, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's extraordinary. It is extraordinary, particularly coming from a genius like him. And he is a genius. And he had no business taking on a movie musical three months after winning the Oscar because they're very tough. But uh, none of us could have done it without him. So coming from him, that means a lot. Talk Thank about you. that. You've done musical theatre. I've yep. gone and seen you. And yes. You're remarkable at that. But, but doing it on film, the yeah. big difference is what? The Obviously, except for the audience. Well, you know, the big difference is the camera here is here. So and we used to rehearse, Tom used to get right up in our face and that just gives you a freedom to not always have to worry about the back row. That you can actually be intimate if you want, you can be private. Uh, and singing live, which hadn't been done before, which is like theatre, we would be singing for 12 hours a day. So that is a challenge. And I think people are now getting a sense as they're watching the video we're running right here. This isn't just a group of actors belting out the signature songs of a show. This is, you're singing the spoken word as well. Yeah. Well, Lane is, is really the the most incredible story with the most incredible characters and you have to forward all these this whole story through song so it has to touch uh, deep down and it has to be emotional and therefore it had to be live did you guys provide support for each other I mean you've got a great cast and I'm thinking did you get to sit in on for example Anne Hathaway yes. shooting her scenes of shooting I dreamed a dream you know, all of us did. I've never been on a film like it before. It was like that feeling you have in the theatre, where as a group, you're together no matter what. We rehearsed for nine weeks. We all knew each other, spent time together. Russell Crowe would have very famous parties at his house Friday night, great sing-alongs, and, and everyone was there for everybody else. If you weren't working, people were on set, and it was, it was amazing. I'm looking at you sitting across from me here, and you seem to have regained the uh, physique and weight that I'm used to seeing you at, but you check out the beginning of this movie. Yeah. And it's very clear that you lost a lot of weight to yep. play Jean Valjean in the beginning. One thing you can do on film, you can't do on the stage, is you can show that time. You can show the difference. So I think I lost about 20 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I do remember my wife looked at it and she gripped my hand as she was sort of worried for me. And I, Tom wanted me to be unrecognizable at the beginning, and I, I did my best. However, from day one of filming to the end, I got to put 30 pounds on. That was fun. How long a shoot was this? Uh, it was about a three or four month shoot. We rehearsed for two, two and a half months. Uh, it was but a roll of a lifetime. I, I, you know, I'm tr I was trying to, to think as I was watching. I mean, I know there are all kinds of beautiful trailers just out of cameras shot. and You've got catering and all that stuff, but it has an incredibly gritty yes. feel to it. Yes. The finished product. I, mean, I, I wanted to Purell throughout the entire <laughs> movie. What was it like shooting in some of those scenes? It was cold, it was wet, it was, you know, Tom is a stickler for reality, unfortunately, so uh, we pretty much lived it. It was, but as, as you say, unlike the characters, <laughs> a nice we walked hot shower it right was a here. lovely hot shower, I'm complaining, where's my food, where's my Evian, all of that stuff. Yeah, you, 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 because a French story, I wanted Evian, that's why. Exactly yeah. right, yeah. no Poland Springs <laughs> on that one. Exactly. You gave an interview recently, actually I'll just tell you, it aired last night on 60 Minutes, and, mm. and you got very emotional. Yeah. at a certain stage of that interview when talking about the kind of choice that you have to make every once in a while as an actor to spend time away from your family. It's, it's mm. a rule you try to keep, but you always can't keep it. You know, we had a rule, and it was my wife's rule. Uh, when I met Deb, she'd done about 20 movies, and she said, Hugh, we're not going to spend more than two weeks apart. And I was like, great. And uh, the wisdom of that really shone through in the following years. You know, I think our business is such where people go off, you work for periods of time, and it's not, people think, oh, it's, there's temptation. It's not that. It's just, in a marriage, you can get used to living apart or used to experiencing everything together, good or bad. And so that's how we always wanted to do it. And 
This was the first time I'd been away from my family, and it was, i got to say, it was a brutal experience, and I'm not sure if I would do it again, but, you know, Deb is the best thing that ever happened to me, you know, then my kids, and uh, it's my priority, and, you know, you met Deb. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know? I, I have, and it yeah. came shining through in your words. Hugh Jackman, it's always good to have you. Good here. to see you, Matt. Congratulations. You. You're unbelievable in this role. Thank you, Matt. Well, well done. Thank you, Again, so Les Miserables hits theaters on Christmas Day.